Hey guys, it's me Rick here again with another video. And uh, today it's on melons and melon farming. Sticking with the theme that I got going with the other videos. And uh, today I'll be covering different farm layouts, which are the most efficient and most effective for uh, what your general farming attitude is. I'll cover some automatic systems and how they work and how they've kind of developed, I suppose. Um, I'll cover some more advanced systems that uh, I found on the web, did some research, and these designs are pretty intense. But I'll start with the basics as I do on uh, the basic block. So this over here is what we call a melon, and this next to it is what's called the melon stem. Now how this plant grows is you have tilled soil, and it'll be about a, normally you'll have a 3x3 three three for each melon stem, or something along the lines and uh, you place your melon seed into the ground and uh, that'll grow after about 20 minutes into a fully grown melon stem now it's got different development stages of like being that and then a little more like that and then actually turning into that but yeah that's the final grown one. Oh, see it just changed a little now to speed this up I'm just gonna bone meal it and I'll show you how they grow now melons will grow in this pattern around the stem they won't grow diagonally because uh, the stem can't connect via the diagonal and whenever a melon grows the stem will automatically connect to the first one that grows whether it was from that stem or not so for example just knock that one out it switches knock that one out switches knock that one out it switches now when you destroy a melon I can't actually do this correctly because I'm in creative mode but I'll use a piston to show you what I mean when you destroy a melon, it explodes into a lot of melon pieces. Now, these can be picked up and eaten as just on their own. You don't need to add a recipe or cook them or anything. They're just simple, good, uh, good survival. Cause, but they only heal about, uh, I think it's one heart, maybe half a heart. I'm not sure exactly, to be honest. Anyway, um, this here is the world's biggest melon. I grew it big fan yep anyway now the most basic melon farm each person will probably build is something similar to this a uh, line of stems down the middle and then just water on each side and that'll that'll give room for each melon to grow either way now naturally a melon stem will only grow one melon uh, I don't know why that is exactly but that's just how they work um, Using this, you'd probably just every now and again come back and harvest them and then retill your ground. Now, for those who want a more efficient and better use of space, there's these designs over here. This one is currently the most space, uh, sorry, yeah, space efficient design available with 48.61% efficiency in a 9x8 block. In that, you've got one source water block in the middle which hydrates all this all this tilled area and all these plants have room to grow a melon except for this block here which is is a waste a wasted space but it has to be there for this water cuz if we uh sorry this block here is the wasted space because this uh sprout a uh, stem will grow here and there won't be anything to grow there because that block there is filled up with water as opposed to a toilet tillable ground. Now this design over here a little different as it has two water blocks and it has three rows as opposed to two in a 9x9 nine nine area. This one is a lower percent efficiency but it's the most time efficient as it uh, if you harvest it once a day in a one day night cycle you get 17 melons roughly whereas in this one you'll only get 13 melons per harvest so if you're a survival player who's harvest ever it sticks with a schedule I suppose harvesting once a day this will be your best bet but this one is more for people who are a bit sporadic with their harvest and they'll just come collect every now and again whether it's more times a day or just once every couple of days now over here how a melon works is it can be knocked down by a moving block and the system that's built here is a very basic semi-automatic melon farm as 
it's got a line of line of tilled soil on pistons with a source water block at the end here. Now what's going to happen is these dirt blocks are going to get pulled down, the water will run straight through, and the melons will be left standing, available for this line of pistons here to push this stone to crush the melon, which will drop the melon into the water and come down to the end point, as I'll show now. See the water is now flowing, hit this switch, crushes all the melons, flicker back up, and most of your melons are now in this end point, where you'd set like a, a pickup point, collect all your melons. Now, this is not the most effective melon farm as you see. All the above get crushed in the process when the melons are destroyed. Now, it's you are not able to have a melon farm that won't have this happen unless you pull away the dirt block first and then crush. Uh, this this one won't work because the water will de-till the soil. But over here, I found this design online that is uh, an automatic... Sorry, it uses what's called a bud switch. Now, a bud switch will, when it's turned on, will detect when a block is placed and push it up. Now, you, this one doesn't have a reset ability, so it's just manual. Put it on, it detects, sends it up. Now how this works is, when a block placed here, sorry, I'll uh, do a better description here, of leather, redstone, okay, now as you can see here, this switch, Hold on. Sorry, no, that has to be a piston. Not piston. Uh, anyway. As you can see, the signal for the piston can get carried through a block. So what this does is when there's no empty space here, there's no connection between the piston and the block. But the second you place a block there, when it's on, it sets it off because the signal is ca is carried through the dirt block it hits the top and it holds the signal there because the signal from the switch is still powering through this block and down into there as the piston is sort of a double connector as it can receive power from both the uh, detector point and uh, elsewhere so we just get rid of those mobs now over here is a bud system with a reset that when the second a melon grows it'll pull this dirt block down using this piston and after that's down it'll push push the melon away with this one breaking the melon. Now this doesn't really have a scoop point or anything as it's just a proof of concept to show how an auto crush auto harvester will work. Now I built this one over here off a schematic I found on the web, I'll try and chuck a description from where I found it, of a gentleman who states that this is the most efficient design for a fully automatic melon harvester. Now what happens here is you have, sorry, you have the same bud switch system in place where once it detects a melon's been placed it'll push away the tilled soil and wait until you come and hit this button. Now when you hit this button it'll do the crush mechanism and smush all the melon and then pull in the tilled soil as there no longer is a block there to hold the connection. Now they all come down and you can collect them from your endpoint here. Now there's a problem with this design that I found as see how the soil is no longer tilled. It is very strange in the sense that only if the machine is facing the same way as the tilled soil will it work as for some reason it just untills the soil every time you use the machine so after a very long time I figured out the problem and rebuilt it over here now this will be a perfect demonstration of how it should work hit the switch crushes and pulls in now the soil is still tilled and ready to grow another melon you see the bud system in place there when the second a melon grows it'll push out and the tilled soil won't get damaged. 
so this is fully automatic just hit the switch it pulls out you could set up a system that does the automatic crushing as the melons come in but as melons grow kind of randomly I guess over time and it'll slowly get more and more out of sync with the melons you can't, you wouldn't be able to come back very often and find a large amount of melons so your melon just grew then nothing else is there so it or a fully automatic wouldn't work very well sorry a fully fully automatic um, I hope this video has been uh, helpful I'll chuck a video uh, on how this design is built in the description for all those fanatics who want to build a fully automatic melon farm as this can be stacked and then built out sideways as well to just have large amounts as this only has an output of eight eight melons every hole um, but yeah it's very very ingenious for what it is and if you want to just use a simple handmade system on the minecraft wiki there's heaps of uh, designs on how to grow melon farms and I'll put a link to those in the description as well. As always it's been It's Me Rick here. Uh, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video.